In this video, you'll learn about some of the more advanced features of Smaply, the tool that allows you to create customer journey maps. And I'll give my review on when I think this might be the tool for your next customer journey map project. Let the show begin. Hi, I'm Mark and welcome to the Service Design Show. This is the second video about using Smaply as your customer journey mapping tool. If you haven't seen the first video, check it out over here where we created a basic journey map in Smaply. In this second video, we're going to look at the advanced features and how to use Smaply on a day-to-day -day basis to drive customer-centric change and innovation. Just to repeat, this video isn't sponsored by Smaply in any way, just, just purely my opinion and experience, but I did reach out to Smaply to see if they would be open to uh, giving you a discount to actually try the tool, and they did. So if you want to use Smaply uh, for free for a month, email them here and tell them that you've seen this video, and they will offer you the uh, paid account for free for a month. There's also a free account of Smaply, which I'm actually using in this recording. The free account has some limitations, but you can get access to the paid account for free for a month. Just email them over here. So just like in the last video, let me share my screen with you and walk you through some of the more advanced features. And I think some of the most important features if you want to use customer journey maps on a day-to-day -day basis. There we go. So this is the map that we built uh, in the first video. Super simple uh, map about going to the zoo. It's not about the journey itself. It's more about learning how to use the tool and the um, basic element that it gives you. We have uh, a few lanes. We have, the st we have stages in our journey. We have uh, the customer activities. We have some research data. We have customer needs and we have the emotional journey. Now, the first thing that I want to show you is um, how to work with states. <clears throat> and what I mean with states is if you start using journey maps as an actual tool, you want to know what are the things that we're, that people are working on. What are the initiatives, the ideas, the things that are changing in our map? And um, there are a few ways you can accomplish this in Smaply. Uh, let me show you one. Um, let me add uh, a need in drive to the zoo and I don't know, build excitement. So that's a need I have as an impatient dad when driving to the zoo. And let's say we have an, a project going on that is about building excitement. I could, for instance, um, say that I want to make this one green. Now I have a green card in my map and let's say clear navigation that has been marked as done. Uh, let's make this one blue. So this could be a way to indicate what are the parts of the journey that we're working on, what parts have been done, uh, just labeling them. Uh, yeah, it's possible in Smaply and this is a way to do it. The next thing I want to show you is how to work with map hierarchies. Now. This is an uber simple map with just three steps. But in reality, if you start creating customer journey maps, you'll see that you'll have, I don't know, maybe 20, 30 steps. Things can get complicated really quickly. And uh, as soon as you start having uh, over 20 steps in a, in a journey, it becomes too, usually too complicated to actually use. And then you want to break the journey down in smaller journeys. And one of the guests on the service design show said journeys are fractal and I completely agree. So each step in the journey is a journey on its own. And what you can do in Smaply is create a hierarchy of maps. Let me show you how to do it. So let's say uh, buy the ticket. Uh, we have a separate journey map uh, that where we uh, elaborate on how to buy a ticket. And the way you can do that is uh, say, uh, go to detailed, oh, the detailed journey, and then make this into a link. And we got, I already have a link to a different map. Uh, over there, I've created the different map. Click OK. And then when I click here, first I'll close this, and then I, it, you see it becomes a link. Now I can click this. 
and it opens opens a map completely different map it doesn't matter in this case um, it's a arrival journey and you see I have a completely different map and I can start working on this map as well and within this map there's also a link to a different map so as you can see you can start building a hierarchy or an ecosystem of maps which again if you want to use journey maps on a day-to-day -day basis you definitely will need this now next two things that are super super important um you want to uh, you'll see that you want to uh, at some point start reorganizing things start adding steps in between moving steps around and it can get messy if if you have to do a lot of manual uh, shifting uh, of your element uh, information blocks now let's say we want to add a step in between driving to the zoo and parking the car. It's really easy. Just click over here and then you can uh, add a step. And uh, what happens uh, between driving to the zoo and parking the car, getting uh, to the gate. I have no idea. But let's say I want to move drive to the zoo over. I've made a mistake and I want to move it to the next step super easy just drag and drop and if you pay notice everything that happens below this uh step moves along so you just drag the top top one and i think it's also possible to even drag this one and the top moves as well this is this is huge this is a huge time saver and a must have if you actually use customer journey maps uh, on a day-to-day -day basis Perfect. Now, the other thing I want to show you is um, the ability to show and hide lanes. If you click on this icon, one of the options that you'll get is to uh, move lanes up and down, which can be really useful, but also to show and hide lanes. Show and hide. Perfect. If, you, if you're going into a management meeting and if you have a map that's full of research data, images, icons, uh, quotes, stuff in that, like that, a huge map, if you show it to your manager and he has three minutes time to actually make any sense of it, this won't work. So this allows you to um, decide which information do you want to show when and to who. And it's this, this yeah. Showing and showing and hiding information lanes is is huge and it's great that Smaply uh, has this feature. All right, so the next thing uh, we need to talk about is Smaply works with personas. Personas are an integrated part in the tool, and I had to create a persona to actually create this map. I I'm the unpatient uh, dad. Um, we're not going to go into how Smaply uses personas, but um, they are there, and the interesting thing is that Smaply allows you to have multiple personas in a journey map, which, if you think about it, could be useful for, for instance, showing the journey of multiple customers, um, the, the emotional journey of multiple customers, different types of customers, but also to show how the staff experiences, how is the employee experience versus the customer experience. What is the employee need versus the customer need? So using multiple personas in your map can be useful um, depending on your situation. So yeah, it's interesting that it's in there. I talked about showing maps to your manager. Now you could of course send them the link to uh, the map. Uh, Smaply allows sharing um, maps but they also have the option to export, not in the free version, um, but they have some templates. And when you export a map, here's an example of what it might look like. Uh, this is what you could get. And of course you can uh, show and hide certain lanes to get the export you need. So it's good that it's in there. Now talking about sharing, uh, this is also a feature that's not available in the free uh, version. But um, like I told you, you can get access to the full version if you email Smaply using the information that's down below in the show notes. Sharing is huge um, and Smaply allows, it, allows you to really easily invite collaborators to a map, uh, to leave uh, comments on, um, on a map. So 
uh, that people can communicate about what's going on over uh, here. Collaboration, uh, if you've been following along with this series of video, collaboration is it's maybe not the number one priority, um, but it's the second priority of a good customer journey mapping tool. You have to have the option to collaborate on a map. And of course, Smaply has that. Now let's talk about pricing for a second. Like I told you, Smaply, if you look under the website, go to pricing. Smaply has a free uh, trial for 14 days and then they offer packages starting at 25 euros a month. So uh, you can start cracking right away or just start for free uh, for 14 days. So far, we've looked into Smaply and using the tool. What are the features? How could you use them? What are the benefits? Now let's look at some of the pros and cons and when I think Smaply would be a suitable tool for you as a customer journey, as a customer experience professional. Let's start with the things that I like about the tool. I like that it's really geared towards customer experience professionals. You can see that the tool has been made by people who are actually doing this themselves, uh, by practitioners. The tool uh, has everything you need. What's especially useful is the um, it's that it's really easy to drag stuff around, to move stuff, to reorganize things, to add things, to remove things. Because if that's hard, if those basic functions are cumbersome, you after after a week you won't be using you won't be updating your map anymore so uh smaply makes that really easy and i like it so um that's that's a big plus also the tool offers a lot of guidance with uh tooltips they have a huge learning library they are releasing videos on customer journey mapping so that can be great if you're sort of starting out with customer journey maps and you want to get into that even Further, they offer a lot of help and guidance. So that's that's good. And also the other feature that's that's super useful is the ability to show and hide lanes. As, as you'll see, you'll need that as soon as maps start to evolve. Now, two things that I would like to have seen in Smaply and I haven't found them. Maybe I haven't looked in the right places, but um, I haven't found a version history so that you can see how a map has evolved over time. Uh, that's especially useful when you're collaborating on a map. You want to see uh, what James and Jane have changed or added to the map, if they have changed anything. Uh, so I, ha I haven't seen it. that feature. Would be nice if it was there. And another thing that would have been a nice to have would be the ability to combine different types of metadata in one lane. So images, text, and files all in the same lane uh, rather than just in uh, separate lanes. This is uh, just a decision they made making the tool. I'm okay with that. You can use and work in that way, but it would have been nice and maybe still something that they will add in the future. But if you can combine different content types in the same lane. <clears throat> now, when would I recommend using Smaply? To be honest, if you're a customer experience professional, if Customer journey maps are a thing that you take serious in your business. It's hard not to recommend Smaply. It has everything you need. And I think it's much a much smarter tool compared to using um, whiteboard tools like Mural and Miro. Smaply is just a dedicated journey mapping tool. And it's a tool that allows you to use journey maps the way they should be used. And that is to drive customer-centric change and innovation on a day-to-day -day basis. So if that's you, if you recognize yourself as somebody who wants to do that, definitely give Smaply a go because it's one of their best tools out there. Have you used Smaply in the past? What was your experience? What did you like about it? What didn't you like about it? Leave a comment down below. I'm really curious to hear your experiences. If you haven't tried Smaply yet, uh, don't forget that you can get a one month free, free trial to get access to all the uh, features if you just email Smaply at this email address and tell them that you've seen this 
video. Now, if you want to learn how to create customer journey maps that make an impact, that are not just a pretty picture on the wall, make sure you check out this next video because that's what we explain over there. Thanks for watching and see you in this next video.